Hello, welcome back you technologically advanced legends to another video here on YouTube. Gonna be juicy, full, and hopefully a good time. Talking about the things that have happened over the past week, let's get into it. Now currently, it's only one week out from the start of the Open. Now I know what you're thinking, gotta get that last minute training in. All out. No stone left turn. Next level. Go time. Now, whatever happens this year, team, I'm proud of you. It's like this dog with his hockey team. But the one thing that we do look forward to on Instagram every year is the Dave Castro clue announcements for each workout, which we haven't had yet, but he says that he has got a photo of one. I have a really good one that I captured the other day. That he is going to put out. I think I should post this week. But it might be too obvious. But I'm just worried that it might be too obvious. It might really tell the world what the workout is. So I'm debating if I'm going to do it. Can't be as obvious as the time that they leaked the workout early. So Now actually, since making this video, we've had the first clue be announced and it's this. It's a mushroom. When he said it was going to be really obvious, what, what did he mean by that? However, some of my favourite comments underneath, this leaves to mushroom for speculation. We're going to be tripping, so probs, double unders and crossovers. It's going to be fun, guys. And then I don't know if I can say this, but Sam Corn fourth mushroom tip equal equals push ups. I'm not going to say it just in case there's kids watching and it's going to be bleeped out, but you know what it means if you're old enough. And the same thing with the comment underneath three grams and a 5k. <laughs> and Sam Dancer made me laugh and he goes, I'm in. My dudes. What do you think it's going to be off that photo? Now, our favorite pastimes of this year being CrossFitters is, is that we get to watch live announcements. But tonight, it is the capital of the CrossFit world as we kick off the 2020 CrossFit game season. Sit together as a family, as a box, or just by yourself and go, ah, crap. Should have not cherry picked all year. That being said, we've actually got some fun live announcements. Last week we had point one, the lineup be announced, and now we've had point two and point three. Point two being Justin Medeiros. Justin Medeiros is the fittest man on earth. Versus Colton Mertens. I was gonna win this either way. I mean, <laughs> these guys couldn't keep the pace. They're all just fighting for second place when they see either of those workouts and I'm in the field. At the shred shed. Justin Medeiros' cool gym. I like that raw, rugged feel, you know? Do it in the back garden gym. And then point three, we have Tia Claire Toomey versus Oriel Lowen, live from the Proven HQ. I made my predictions on point one last week and I'll make them again this week. Justin Medeiros is going to win point two. Tia Claire Toomey is going to win point three. That's going to start her winning season. I think she's coming back with vengeance. Might have to think of a prize, but um, put your top three males and top three females for this year at the CrossFit Games down in the comments section below and if you get it right I'll figure something out. Oh. Now this week it was the European Championships in weightlifting and we got to see the women's CrossFit Games champ reigning champ. Okay here comes Laura Hover from Hungary the CrossFit Games champion. Take to the European weightlifting stage. She told us that her best snatch this last year is 94 kilos. There's 90. Yeah, a lot of confidence there. Just yeah. run for it. Just Where she took seventh place overall, going two for six on the lifts, snatching 90 kilos and clean and jerking 115. There yes, it is. Can. Yep. That's easy. Very solid jerk, too. Yep. In the woman's 76 kilo category. That's cool. Also, what, what made that category actually amusing was this German athlete that kept coming out and she kept slapping herself in the face, but every time she did with chalk on her hands, it kept getting more and more and more. And this is what she looked like by the time she got to her final clean and jerk. I've seen many a CrossFitters use more chalk than that, but that was something special. Moving on. In other news, we've had the update that we will not be seeing Mal O'Brien compete this season. My focus overall is definitely just my well-being as a person because it's not something I focused on almost ever. So with that being said, I won't be competing in the 2024 season. I truly feel like it's not what I need in my life right now. Just because I'm not competing in the 2024 season doesn't mean that I won't ever. I'm not putting a timeline on anything and I'm just kind of letting it play out and see what feels best for me. 
I think this comment below her video put it best. You're setting a great example by doing what's best for your well-being. Life is short, enjoy it. I said it a few weeks ago. The quote that I saw and liked about meaning of life, it's enjoying the passage of time. We only get one shot at this, you know what I mean? So next week when you're dying in the open workout and you're going, why do we do this to myself, to ourselves? I'm not enjoying this. Can't help you. Maybe CrossFit wasn't the meaning to your life. But it is a way to extend it, make it fitter, healthier, and just generally become more badass. So that's why we do it. And touch the sound. Next up, we saw James Newbury take on the 200 meter sprint. He posted it on Instagram and it took him 24.9 seconds. Pretty fast, pretty, pretty fast. Put it into a speed calculator or whatever, he was running at 29 kilometers an hour. Now then I did some research. If you put him against a hippo, even the slowest of hippos, he would still lose that race. And a hippo weighs like between 1300 and 1800 kilos. I mean, I, it would be a fun race to watch, for sure. Basically, if you're a little chonky, doesn't mean you can't be speedy. Actually, looking at speeds of animals, like just random fact for a future pub quiz, red kangaroos can go at 70 kilometers an hour. Just hop along at 70 kilometers an hour. I thought that was pretty, that was a good fact, wasn't it? Smash that like button for random facts, good news, and to support this channel. Thanks. Now, just quickly talking the masters. Obviously this year, there's gonna be separate competitions for the teens, the individuals and teams and the masters. We've had an update on what the masters is gonna look like. It's a uh, open quarterfinals, semifinals, all online. And then obviously the games, which is gonna be the masters CrossFit games by legends championship in Birmingham, Alabama, end of August, start of September. But what we are gonna see that is different is teams of four, two males, two females within age groups, which is pretty cool. And there's gonna be a 70 plus year old trial division. Hey, if I can still walk at 70, let alone CrossFit. How sparkling is that, by the way? That'd be cool. I don't think it's gonna happen though. I wonder what the events are gonna look like for 70 plus. Surely there becomes an eight, like, I don't know, like, like tell me if I'm wrong, 70 year olds out there. But like, surely there becomes a point where like, pushing limits of exertion, like to actual, like, real competitive levels gets a little bit like, I, I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this? I think the teams are pretty cool, you know? Get a couple of buddies, bang it. And then in just some little bite-sized bits, Sam Dancer chipped his front tooth during 16.5 redo, got a 36 second PR. He wants to redo and <laughs> knock off a few more seconds, not more teeth. Would you chip your tooth for a 30 second PR on a workout? It's the real question, do you want it bad enough? Pat Vellner has welcomed into the world another child. Ethan Avery Vellner. So congratulations to those legends, nicest people in the game. Super happy for you guys. Oh, that's just some knee oil. We've had another team announcement, this time Team Invictus, last year's champions, with Josh Alshamar being part of that team, saying I like the way the trophy looks in our entrance. The team has changed a little bit this year with the addition of Lauren and Chandler Smith. So the team division is really hotting up. Gonna be a good battle out there. And on the Kettlebells and Cocktails podcast, we heard from Don Fowle talking about the sport of CrossFit itself and how they're gonna take some money out of it this year. We took, we took a lot of costs out of the business and we're gonna continue to take, so if we look at sport, for example, our primary goal this year on sport is one, we want to deliver a great experience for our athletes, for members of the community, for affiliates. We still spend way too much money on sport. We're gonna take a meaningful amount of money out of that. That's money that we can reinvest in the long-term drivers of growth, reaching more people, investing in our affiliates. So that is a meaningful focus for us this year. As it relates to the beginning credit piece, I, I think there is, look, I, I view that generally, I think our job is to view things through the lens of what can we control and influence. And I think yeah. part of our responsibility is doing a better job of having conversations like this. I don't think they're necessarily things that a lot of businesses talk about, but, but I think part of our job is to educate the community and say, yeah, we are owned by private equity. If you're not familiar with that, which by the way, most humans on the planet are not familiar with how private equity works. Here's how it works. Here's the changes that we're making. Here's why we actually think that's, that's the right thing to do in service of the community. And so that'll be, we're now doing a lot of communication with our affiliates. And these are the types of things that I want us, I think we're accountable for talking about, because again, those affiliates are our stakeholders. We're accountable to them. What are your thoughts on that? And then. To finish off, a couple of random things I liked this week. 
The look of these, for one, Adidas just dropped the blackout Predator with the tongue strap. Now, if you grew up playing football or soccer for you Americans, like I did, the Predator, whoa, David Beckham wearing them. You were like, damn, they are a good looking boot and they made you curl the ball better. I just saw those on Instagram and I was like, damn, they would be what I'd wear. Look at that blackout, beautiful, beautiful. What a pair of boots. We've had the announcement that Frozen 3 and Toy Story 5 will be released in 2026. If you're a cartoon slash animation dude like me, just love them, Frozen's a banger, then like you should be looking forward to this. I'm very looking forward to Kung Fu Panda coming out in a month or two. The new one. And then last week we talked about VR, we talked about the headset and you guys told me what you thought about it. But uh, then I saw this that's being worked on by Disney themselves, their research team of like how to, you can walk on this and it just, you just, then you're even more immersed. And I was like, that's really cool. You can walk on this omnidirectional floor in any direction I want. It will automatically do whatever it needs to have me stay on the floor. And what's amazing about this is multiple people can be on it and all walking independently. They can walk in virtual reality and so many other things. Thank you, Whoop, for sponsoring the video. Use this link or the link down below for a free device and a free month. Win-win, you can just try it out. Track your sleep, recovery, strain for the day, stress. See if you can alter things and ultimately up your performance day by day. Thank you for tuning in on today's video. No one's told you today you're an absolute legend and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Legend of the week, by the way, goes to John over what Patrick Bowner was thinking during his paused front squats. I wonder if Greg has posted another video yet. I miss him. He probably wasn't thinking that. Nowhere near. I really did enjoy this one though. That's gonna itch when it dries. If you are loving these news videos come, coming back, please do let me know down in the comments. The more interactions, likes, comments, everything really helps. All right. You the MVPs.